Hey, this is Raphael here with a new video, and it's gonna be how to make a video player with Swift. So this, I have this video file here that I recorded on my computer just earlier. So if we play it, it is simply me um, messing with the iOS simulator. And what we'll be doing for this video is I'll be showing you how to make a video player programmatically. So this is good if you want to make a game trailer and you want to add the file directly onto your app and players can easily access your game trailer um, without inter internet connection if, if need be. So let's get into this video. Um, before that actually, I want to tell you all that I have recently published a new app on the App Store and you guys can download it in the description below. It's called Emo Jump. It's a kind of a run and jump game. And most of my pe the people in my school have alre already have my app, and I am hoping to get it across the world so this game can become popular, like Geometry Dash and all those you know games like Flappy Bird, etc., etc. So if you want to try it out, um, it's in the description below, and you can most likely share it with your family members or your friends. That'll be very nice. So anyway, that's off topic. Let's go into Xcode and we're going to click create a new Xcode project. We're going to select a single view application and click next. And make sh and for this video, I am showing you how to make this app in Xcode 9. So this is the very latest version of Xcode. Product name, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine video player tutorial. Programming language is set to Swift. Click next. We're gonna click create. I'm gonna replace that because I made a video earlier but it failed, so I'm gonna remake the whole video. And now we have created our project. We're gonna go over here and tick requires full screen under deployment info and go to deployment target and we're gonna be choosing 10.1. So what this is saying is the user needs to have at least iOS version 10.1 in order to use this app. So Whoever has iOS 9 or under cannot run this app. They need to, it will, if they try to run it on their phone, it will ask them to upgrade. So you can obviously choose if you want it to be iOS 9 or up, but I'm going to set the bare minimum to 10.1. So now next we're going to actually import our video. So this video over here, we're going to import it into our actual project. The destination copy items. Copy items if needed, make sure that is ticked. Make sure create groups is selected and make sure the first in this box here is selected too and click finish. So obviously if you want to play your video again, you can click the actual video right now and click play. Well, you'll just see the exact same thing as I saw earlier, so you don't have to do that, but you can if you want to. and. You can use absolutely any video if you so desire to. So go to our main storyboard and we are going to add in a button. Make sure the background is first set to black. And we're going to drag in a button over here. And what this button is going to say, it is going to say play our video. can resize that so it is a lot bigger as well and much better to look at so that's all we need to do for the um, all we need to do is drag in one button now we're gonna declare an IB action so we're gonna click on the top list highlighted blue we're gonna bring up our assistant editor and we're gonna drag before we do it actually we're gonna import a new module and this will say a big kit over here we're gonna control click drag and we are gonna do Connection and we're going to connect that as an action and the name is going to be a button one Type is any touch up inside arguments is sender and we're going to connect that together Here we're going to do an if statement so this will say if let path equals bundle domain path Bracket for resource This can get kind of confusing for resource colon two brackets comma of type 
two brackets again, and then do another a bracket and space it out. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of our assistant editor and we're gonna go head over to our view controller that's with file. In our um if statement line here, this whole line, we're gonna add in the two um, brackets video and type is mov. So to put it simple, we named our file as video.mov. So we're gonna type in we're gonna type in the name first. The extension goes all the way here. Make sure it is very important. This is case sensitive. Well, so make sure you have it completely. Make sure you have it on exactly as the file name. And now we're gonna do again. Um, let video equals av player. And this will be URL equals URL bracket file with path URL with path colon path. So now we're gonna declare a AV player view controller and this will be called video video play equals AV player view controller. And that with two brackets and this will be called video play. And now we're gonna do the player and we're gonna we're gonna equal our AV player, so that we call that uh, our video. Then next, we're gonna do, we're gonna present our video. So this will say present video player, at, comma animated. So this will be true because we want it to be animated. We want it to move on completion, and this will be spaced out. So this can this part can get confusing. So space it over here. This bracket will go over here, right next to that, and then we're gonna be doing video dot play. So it will say av player dot play. So um, that's all we need to do. So that this is it. So all we need, all we did was we declared, we declared a bundle name path. We called it path, and we added in our video name case sensitive, and we presented our video um once it if it actually matches. So let's build and run and test it out. So we are building for the iPhone 8 screen because if we go to our main storyboard, it will say view as iPhone 8. If, I hope you can see my cursor here. It says view as iPhone 8. So we want our simulator to be the iPhone 8 screen because if it is a bigger screen or a smaller screen, it will look kind of weird with the application itself because we didn't like, we didn't set it any constraints. So technically it's not a universal app. Anyway, so let's click play and run our application. So here's our iOS simulator. We click play our video. As you can see, our video is now playing in our iOS simulator because, because we've imported our video in that we programmed it to play once we click the button. So that's it. That's it. You all finished. You all finished. You just made a video player in Xcode with Swift. Now, some of the um, good things with this is if you made like, let's say you made a trailer of a game and you want the players to be able to see the gameplay of it, um, you can you can add in the actual um, video itself and then you can make a button to show the video or you can uh, make it show once the game loads up in the first place. And if you want, you can just put all this code into view to load if you wanted to load without pressing the button and just wanted to um, load load the video if you just load up the view in the first place. Anyway, so that's it. Thank you all for watching. That is how you make a video player. Then um, one more time, I will tell you that I have submitted a game recently. It's called Emo Jump. So please check it out in the description if you have time. Um, that's, it for the, that's it for this video. See you all next time.